Hello and good morning everyone! Great to have you joining me once again. Today we are visiting the most unique tree in Penang. It is located on a traffic island between Presidency Road and McAllister Road. Before I go any further, let me first give you our starting point coordinates. Key the coordinates into your GPS, Google Maps or Waze to be taken to the spot where I started walking. This spot used to be known as Piccadilly Circus after the same thing in London. That's because there was once a circus or roundabout here. As with the same thing in London, the roundabout is long gone. But we are not here to talk about the roundabout. We are here to visit this tree. This is a baobab tree. It is a native of tropical Africa. The scientific name of this tree is Adansonia digitata. Growing in the arid regions of mainland Africa and particularly Madagascar, the baobab tree has rotten trunks to store water. Although it is not the only baobab tree in Penang, it is by far the oldest. In fact, it is the oldest planted tree in Malaysia. It was planted by someone whom I consider the Indiana Jones of the 19th century. His exploits took him to all the exotic and far-flung corners of the world, to India, Nepal, Ethiopia and 19th century Malaya. He is credited with the founding of Taiping and Kamunting. His name is Trisham Charles Sawyer Speedy, but he is better known simply as Captain Speedy. He planted this tree in 1871, which was the first of three years he was stationed in Penang as Superintendent of Police. That's over a hundred and fifty years ago. Captain Speedy saw a very different Penang from what we know today. He bore witness to a sliver of time in Malayan history at the advent of large-scale tin mining. The 1870s was a time when warfare between the dominant groups of tin miners was frequent and ferocious. Just a few years before Speedy's arrival, clashes between the dominant secret societies erupted into street fights known as the Penang Riots of 1867. And in the very year he arrived to take up his posting, the Third Larut War erupted between the Gihin and the High Sun. Captain Speedy was eventually engaged by Nga Ibrahim, the Mantri of Larut, to quell the troubles and restore order. This culminated with the Panko Treaty of 1874, which was presided by the Governor of the Strait Settlements, Sir Andrew Clark, and attended in separate sessions by Nga Ibrahim, with Captain Speedy as his security chief, Chung Keng Kui representing the High Sun, arriving accompanied by Frank Swettenham, and Ching Sen Yam, representing the Gihin, arriving accompanied by William A. Pickering. The result or consequence of the treaty is the founding of Taiping and the arrival of the first British resident to Para. Just as the planter of this tree became a participant to local history, the tree he planted also bore witness to the urban morphology of Georgetown. During Captain Speedy's time, the area around the tree was given to military use. Today, this has shrunk to just the armed forces base at Peel Avenue. Road names such as Barrack Road and Sepoy Lines Road offer glimpses into the military past of the area. The tree itself is aged. Rather than growing upwards as most baobab trees do, it is tilting to one side. However, due to its significance, it is being given life support so to speak. The main trunk is being propped up while the boughs are supported by crutches. 
Captain Speedy's Biobub tray is like a sick old man who can no longer stand on his own. Yet it continues to flower and fruit. At flowering season, the whole tree could be full of flowers, but when I was there, I only came across two. There's another reason for keeping the tree alive and that has to do with local superstition. The belief is that Penang Island is like a boat with a hole that is being plugged by the tree. The tree acts as a stopper. If it topples over, water will gush out and the island will sink. Of course, it's just a silly superstition, but to be on the safe side, we'll keep it propped up. Apart from the swollen trunk, there's nothing particularly extraordinary about the leaves. And over here, I find the one and only fruit of the tree. For its significance as the oldest planted tree in Malaysia, I hope that Captain Speedy's Baobab tree will continue to stay alive and thrive here in Penang for years and years to come. So that's the wrap for this video. If you enjoy it, please give it a like, share it, subscribe to this channel and do hit the notification bell. And I look forward to bringing you another video very soon. Until we meet again, thanks for watching.